despot was a senior Byzantine court title that was bestowed on the sons or sons-in-law of reigning emperors, and initially denoted the heir apparent. From Byzantium it spread throughout the late medieval Balkans, and was also granted in the states under Byzantine influence, such as the Latin Empire, Bulgaria, Serbia and the Empire of Trebizond. It gave rise to several principalities termed despotates, which were ruled either as independent states or as appanages by princes bearing the title of despot. The most prominent of these were Epirus, the Moria and Serbia. In English, the feminine form of the title is despotess, which denoted the spouse of a despot. But the transliterated traditional female equivalent of despots, despoina, is also commonly used. The term must not be confused with its modern usage, which refers to despotism, a form of government in which a single entity rules with absolute power. The semantic shift undergone by the term is mirrored by tyrant, an ancient Greek word that originally bore no negative connotation, and the Latin dictator, a constitutionally sanctioned office of the Roman Republic. In colloquial modern Greek, the word is often used to refer to O bishop, origin and history. The original Greek term delta epsilon sigma pi o micron tau eta sigma meant simply lord and was synonymous with kappa epsilon rho iota rho micron sigma. As the Greek equivalent to the Latin dominus, despots was initially used as a form of address indicating respect. As such it was applied to any person of rank, but in a more specific sense to God, bishops and the patriarchs, and primarily the Roman and Byzantine emperors, occasionally used in formal settings, for example on coins or formal documents, although it was used for high-ranking nobles from the early 12th century. The title of despot began being used as a specific court title by Manuel I Comnenos, who conferred it in 1163 to the future King Beiakutele III of Hungary, the emperor's son-in-law and, until the birth of Alexios II in 1169, heir presumptive. According to the contemporary Byzantine historian John Kinemos, the title of despot was analogous to Bela's Hungarian title of Eurum or heir apparent. From this time and until the end of the Byzantine Empire, the title of despot became the highest Byzantine dignity, which placed its holders immediately after the emperor. Nevertheless, the Byzantine emperors from the Komnenoi to the Paleologoi, as well as the Latin emperors who claimed their succession and imitated their styles continued to use the term despots in its more generic sense of lord in their personal seals and in imperial coinage. In a similar manner, the holders of the two immediately junior titles of Sebastocrator and Caesar could be addressed as despotar. The despot shared with the Caesar another appellatory epithet, Eutychastatos or Panutychastatos. During the last centuries of Byzantium's existence, the title was awarded to the younger sons of emperors as well as to the emperor's sons-in-law. The title entailed extensive honors and privileges, including the control of large estates. The domains of Michael VIII's brother John Paleologos, for instance, included the islands of Lesbos and Rhodes to finance their extensive households. Like the junior titles of Sebastocrator and Caesar however, the title of despot was strictly a courtly dignity, and was not tied to any military or administrative functions or powers. Women could not hold a noble title, but bore the titles of their husbands. Thus the spouse of a despot, the despotissa, had the right to bear the same insignia as he. Among the women of the court, the despotissa likewise took the first place after the empress. The use of the title spread also to the other countries of the Balkans. The Latin Empire used it to honor the doge of Venice Enrico Dandolo and the local ruler of the Rodopi region, Alexius Lulv. After California, 1219 it was regularly borne by the Venetian Podestas in Constantinople, as the Venetian support became crucial to the empire's survival. In 1279 80th, it was introduced in Bulgaria to placate the powerful magnate George Turter in 1279 80th. 
During the Serbian Empire it was widely awarded among the various Serbian magnates, with Jovan Oliver being the first holder, and it was held by lesser principalities as well, including the self-proclaimed Albanian despots of Arta. In the 15th century, the Venetian governors of Corfu were also styled as despots as the title of despot was conferred by the emperor and usually implied a degree of submission by the awardee. The Paleologan emperors tried long to persuade the emperors of Trebizond, who also claimed the Byzantine imperial title, to accept the title of despot instead. Only John II of Trebizond and his son Alexios II, however, accepted the title, and even they continued to use the usual imperial title of Basileus domestically. With the death of the last Byzantine emperor Constantine XI on May 29, 1453, the creation of a despot became irregular. The title was granted by Pope Paul II to Andreas Paleologos, heir to the Byzantine throne in 1465, and by the King of Hungary to the heirs of the Serbian despotate. Despotates from the mid-14th century on, various territories were given to imperial princes with the rank of despot to rule as semi-autonomous appanages, some of which have become widely known as despotates, chiefly the despotate of Epirus and the despotate of the Moria. It is important to stress that the term despotate is technically inaccurate. The title of despot, like every other Byzantine dignity, was not hereditary nor intrinsic to a specific territory. Even in the so-called despotates, a son of a despot might succeed to his father's territory but could not hold the title unless it was conferred anew by the emperor. In normal Byzantine usage, a clear distinction was drawn between the personal dignity of despot and any other offices or attributes of its holder. Thus, for instance, John II Orsini is qualified as the ruler of Ocarnania, the despot John, rather than the despot of Ocarnania, by John VI Cantac Ouzanos. Nevertheless, the close association of title and territory began already from the late 13th century and became widespread from the mid-14th century as a steady succession of despots began to rule over the same territory. Insignia. According to the mid-14th century Book of Offices of Pseudo-Codinos and the descriptions given by the historian George Pachemias, the despots' insignia were characterized by the colors purple and white and the rich decoration in pearls. In detail, the insignia were a brimmed hat called Skiadian studded with pearls with a neck cover with the owner's name embroidered in gold and pendants, similar to those of the emperor. The Skiadian was an everyday headgear, but it was forbidden to despots who had not reached adolescence to wear it indoors. For ceremonies and festivities, the despot bore the domed Skaranikon, decorated with gold metalwork, precious stones and pearls, a red tunic similar to the emperor's, with gold embroideries of the Rizai style, but without military insignia, red leggings and a red cloak with broad stripes. For festive occasions, the long kaftan-like kabardian was worn, of red or purple color and decorated with pearls. A pair of purple and white soft boots, decorated with imperial eagles made of pearls on the instep. The spurs were also bicolored, purple and white. In a few cases where emperors wished to show special favor to a son, red boots like the emperors were substituted, elevating its holder to an undefined quasi-imperial rank above the despots. The despot's saddle and horse furniture were similar to that of the emperor, likewise in purple and white, decorated with pearl eagles. The coating of the saddle and the despot's tent were white with small red eagles. The despot also had the right to sign his letters with an ink of a dark red color. The insignia was modified in Bulgaria and Serbia according to local preferences. List of known holders